So another warm welcome from Krakow in Poland. It's actually not warm, it's getting colder and the rain is going to come down I think. So I've got to film this one short and sharp actually because no bit of film history for you here. The film Shinza's List which was filmed extensively in this city and the bridge that I'm walking up to was featured in the film. For those of you that are familiar with the film Schindler's List will know that this is the bridge from which the Jewish population of uh, Krakow um, made their way out from their areas into the ghetto when they were stripped of their belongings many were shot and the ones that were rounded up were made to walk through this bridge and in terms of filming locations uh, Schindler's factory is not too far from here because if you cross south of the river you will get to Schindler's factory, Oscar Schindler's villa, Plashoff concentration camp and other sites associated uh, with uh, the film. The actual film never used Plashoff concentration camp. It was a another location nearby which they used and they built a set there which some of it still remains but it's quite tricky to get to but if you're interested in that you can actually go to see where the filming took place where that set was built although there are many locations around the city that uh, were used because they used actual buildings now i've already had a, a vlog where the uh, staircase where mrs dresner hid and the alleyway schindler's uh, passage as it's called or schindler's alley as some people call it but this is that bridge so it's uh, i think it was commissioned around the 30s i think 1933 it came into operation and uh, it does look totally different to the other bridges you could probably make out one or two in this video uh, as we're looking uh, across the river but this is uh, from that time period so as it's shown in the film this would have existed back when the uh, Krakow ghetto was formed and uh, for those of you that are familiar with the film will, will have seen many people pass under this bridge and it is used as a working bridge so uh, if you are down here be careful because a lot of cars are it's, this is quite early morning and there's a lot of traffic might have been uh, repainted rec recently in recent times I guess they've got a tram line that goes across the bridge and uh, I'll just walk across actually as there's no traffic this way come to think of it I'm not sure actually when the filming took place which side the uh, Jewish uh, population walked out from if it's that side towards where the uh, factory is it could possibly have been or they may have used that or in fact if it if they if they filmed according to events then because the Krakow ghetto is in that direction clash of concentration camp is in that direction Hero Square which uh, where they made the selection I've got a video on Hero Square as well that's also in the same direction so they possibly could have used um, this to uh, show the exit from where the prisoners exited the bridge as we head uh, south this is heading south towards uh, Plashoff in fact if you carry on walking take a few turns you will you can quite easily from here get to Plashoff concentration camp in about 20 25 minutes 30 minutes if you're walking slowly I guess but not more than that from the bridge I guess because I've already done the walk once An amazing structure actually So you get 
cars that travel up and down as well as the tram line and they've got pedestrian zones here a lot of the bridges have cycle areas as well but those I'm guessing are the more modern modern ones and as this goes back to the 1930s I don't think uh, they had uh, cycle zones back then and I think they've left it to pedestrians yeah cyclists is on the on the road actually I'm trying to get a bit more of the detail of the bridge that is solid that is a solid bridge it's been here since 1933 so 90 years at least Schindler's List history here film history for Hollywood buffs I guess but also for those interested in uh, the history of Krakow and what happened here history of uh, Imalia history of Auschwitz which is uh, uh, further down from here in fact there's quite a number of uh, camps in Poland it's got the unfortunate distinction I guess uh, you've got I guess these must originally be the makers and then it's got another plaque here 2019 to 2020 maybe the first one says who built the pla uh, bridge and that's a plaque for them I have to check this someone will have to comment or I'll have to, I'll have to research this but yeah like I was saying that uh, Poland has the unfortunate distinction uh, nearby is Auschwitz you also got Gross Rosen there's also Belzec, there's also Majdanek, there's also Sobibor, Treblinka. I mean, the list goes on. Uh, very unfortunate distinction of uh, where the Nazis built these camps. And I'm beginning to think, just as I'm remembering the film, I think they did walk from this side to the other side. I think that's what happened. So yeah, that's a, a short, sharp vlog on the bridge that was used in... Uh, Schindler's List. For short, people here call it the Joseph Bridge and uh, that's what uh, a lot of the locals know it as because I was asking at uh, my hotel reception and they said, oh you mean the Joseph Bridge? So, so if ever you are down, ask for the Joseph Bridge or ask for the Schindler's List Bridge and that's what you'll see. So from uh, Schindler's Bridge, I'll call it that, or Joseph Bridge in Krakow, it's goodbye.